When you see a product that has already been on the market for one quarter and already has a considerable price drop, it just goes to show you that either the company was being really overambitious or overestimated its own value. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. This is a topic that was making the rounds last week and I wanted to give you guys my input on it considering when AMD had launched their RX 7000 series, I had expressed my disappointment with the two GPUs and one of the main things I took issue with was the pricing. That issue became even more apparent when the cards were reviewed by various tech outlets and they had showed that the RX 7900 XT specifically was around the performance of an overclocked 6950 XT. Considering the fact that you could buy a 6950 XT for around $650 or $700 at that time, and the much faster RX 7900 XTX was only $100 more, the 7900 XT just didn't make any sense to buy. You could argue that this was just intentional and was an upsell tactic, but you also gotta question why AMD would tarnish the image of their product like this. Once reviews are out and the verdict's in, then that's it. Most outlets aren't going to go back and reevaluate their conclusion whenever there's a price drop or a sale. Sometimes they'll talk about it when they are reviewing another new GPU that hits the market and they compare street prices but I don't know how many would take note of it considering the focus of that review would be for a different product entirely. Is it really worth the extra $100 AMD that you would let your product have terrible initial reviews just to cash in on the difference from a small minority of diehard fans? And here's the thing, the 7900 XT didn't even sell that well to begin with, so clearly that strategy didn't work. Not really sure what they were thinking with that one to begin with. Hence, we are now seeing the 7900 XT drop in price well below MSRP at $799. Now, a lot of people are calling this a price drop. I personally like to use the phrase price correction. Given the way the market is currently constructed and how it stacks up against the competition, $799 is a more appropriate price tag, but I personally would have liked to have seen it at $699 or $749 at most, considering how it performs relative to the 6950 XT. Had it come out at $799, then this GPU would have been received a lot better by reviewers. It would have actually been recommended as an option, not just as a substitute because you can't find something from last gen in stock. Now, since this is a retailer listing and it's for an AIB model, not the reference card, I doubt this is even anything official from AMD and I wouldn't expect an announcement from them pertaining to that anytime soon. If there is going to be an official price drop, I can't see it really happening before Computex, which is typically held in late May or early June. The 7900 XT is a bit faster than the 4070 Ti, which had launched in early January of this year and that GPU launched with an MSRP of $799, so it's $100 cheaper than the RX 7900 XT. And if you're someone who only cares about rasterization performance, right now the 7900 XT will probably seem like a better buy for you considering this price drop. And uh, I can see these discounts helping with the sales, but it's not going to be a huge difference and will definitely not help them outsell NVIDIA, that's for sure. Tech Epiphany on Twitter, who usually posts weekly sales data from Mine Factory, who are a very large German retailer, showed that the RTX 4070 Ti has been their top seller and it's been outselling AMD's RX 7900 XT by quite a margin. What's also interesting to note is that I did a search on their online website and noticed that the RTX 4070 Ti's are already more expensive than the 7900 XT despite coming in at a considerably lower price. Nvidia has still been outselling them though so I guess that doesn't even matter. Also if you recall from my previous video where I talked about the RTX 4090 numbers on the Steam hardware survey, the 4070 Ti also made an appearance but none of AMD's GPUs have. I checked recently and this hasn't changed Changed. Now, we don't know for sure what the market share is like until Valve updates their database to include the IDs for them separately. Right now, they're just clustered together in the other category, but I won't be surprised if the 7900 XT is far below than what the user base for the 4070 Ti is. This isn't surprising, even when AMD was cheaper and had the faster option, people still went out and bought Nvidia. This is why I won't expect Nvidia to drop their prices, Intel and AMD are a different story. I've said this in the past and I'll say it again, for every AMD card that's sold, there are like 10 Nvidia cards that go with it. Right now AMD just seems like they're simply coasting, they don't want to make any real impact on the market, they don't want to compete, and they're not interested in gaining market share. Because if they were, then this RX 7900 XT would have been called an RX 7800, and would have been sold for about 649 and the RX 7900 XT would have been 799. At those prices, I would 
have been totally on board and would have been recommending their cards all day. But that's not what they've chosen. They're content with moving a small volume to the enthusiast AMD crowd they know will buy their product regardless, while the masses continue to buy Nvidia because they just don't have any incentive to switch. Taking into account the recent earnings call and the fact that shipments are at a historical low for these semiconductor companies, I can see AMD's GPUs being amongst the first to get significant price drops down the road. They're going to have to. I've been reading comments online about this and a lot from my last video. These offerings are nowhere close to incentivize people to upgrade or, or build a new PC with these new GPUs. Given the world's economic downturn and the way people are struggling to put meals on the table, GPUs aren't going to be on the top of their priority list. Along with that, there's not been much that has come out these days in terms of games that makes you want to upgrade, though that's a bit of a different topic for a different video. Looking ahead, this may also play a role into why AMD hasn't released any other SKUs in the 7000 lineup, such as an RX 7800 XT or 7700 XT. Given the poor reception from the market, if these cards were to come out right now, they'd be released at inflated prices and would just be sitting on store shelves. In some cases, it might seem like they're selling out because they're always out of stock, but that's not due to a demand issue, it's because they're purposely limiting the volume on the cards now to make it seem that way. With how the RX 7900 XT performs, the 7800 XT will just be a 6800 XT with higher clocks and better ray tracing performance. Most people would say forget that, I'll just get a used 6800 XT for like 450 bucks and call it a day. So the way I see it, these price drops, price corrections, whatever you might want to call them, it's not something I personally get too excited for these days. It's really just the cards slowly coming back down to earth at a spot where they should have been at to begin with. The 7900 XT at 799 is still going to be a bit of a tough sell and needs to come down further if AMD really wants to move a lot of volume. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.